Okay, so we are in some Tom Clancy Ghost Recon Wildlands. This is my first broadcast. I think it's kind of cool. So, my character kind of gillied up. It, it's cool. Cool game. Lots to do. Here, I'll show you guys the map. I've explored 100% of the map. Still like a little black pieces, darkened pieces that I haven't visited. But on my status it says I've completed 100. Um, obviously I've only taken two main cartel leaders. And mostly I've been just getting the guns I've wanted. So I've got quite a like I've got all the high end weapons mostly. Um for example if I go in like sniper rifles here I've got almost all of them. I'm only missing a few which is technically Dragonov, which I could go get right now. Which would be a good idea if I go get it. So maybe we'll go do that and we'll go do a mission. So let's go do that now. Anyways, the Dragonov right now is in my area. So if I go down here, the Dragonov. And there's a mission, which is a thousand XP. So let's go do that. Um. I don't have a, like, a spawn point. So, I'll spawn here, and we'll see where it brings us to. So, I don't know what you guys think about the game. If it's good, if you like it, there would be... There, it's for sure Ubisoft should improve the game. There's a lot to improve. I find a lot of game mechanics that could have been better, made the experience more exciting. But uh, yeah, you do what you gotta do and we'll see from there. So we are currently 2.3 kilometers away, but let's just like stand here, right here. Just, you know, climb right here. And just immerse yourself with the game and like the rain and like the trees and teammates randomly standing in the background so I guess we could talk about one thing teammates see it would be cool if you could like change their loadout um, change their their gear so that maybe they could all be like in ghillie suits if you want or depending on where you are get like uh, different like camos and stuff so like right now we're like I don't know, a, little, a little bit of very green trees and all that so pretty much my my suit is pretty good they're just like in random like black vests shirt t-shirts and yeah they don't look really tactical to me. They look kind of dumb. And, you know, it would be cool if you could give them, like, the weapons that you get to find. So, if I get them the MSR or, uh, I don't know, uh, let's say, uh, the HTI. Like that, they would have better high-end weapons and you wouldn't be stuck doing all the work you need to do by yourself. Um, other thing that would be kind of cool for from Ubisoft is a jump function. Like X, yes you could climb, but a jump function, like you could jump when you're climbing like rocks or something, like you could jump. Like I bet you, you they could put a game mechanic which you double press X and your character will like leap forwards, which would be interesting. So I didn't end up thinking of going Spotted here, submachine guns. but uh, we could take the helicopters. That would be a pretty good idea. 
Okay. Let's just deploy a drone for a second. I got a third target. There's a guy here. Uh, I think we have them all. No, there's still a guy. Like I think he's in the garage or some somewhere. I think he's here. Okay, I don't really know where he is, but let's take out our MSR. Kind of got like slide track there. Oh, they have a little document here. Uh, where's the staircase? So yeah, what do you guys think about the game? How do you like it? Do you find it fun? Do you find it entertaining? Do you find it that it's kind of annoying. <laughs> Let him talk. It's like hanging out with the biggest pit bull. supplies will buy us a lot of goodwill from the rebels. And he might tear your throat out, sure, but sure as shit won't hide his There are a lot of lights and switches up here. You know, this morning I ran chains. security when he was uh, renegotiating production rates with that fucking wombat, El Emissario. So Emissario keeps making excuses about production volume and labor and whatever. Well, Swainio just sat and stared all dead eyed at this asshole. I swear to God, his fucking eyes were burning holes through the guy's shirt. <laughs> Get this. Swain Young pulls the biggest fucking Bowie knife out of his jacket. It was like a sword out of a goddamn Japanese cartoon. And he lays this hump of pointy metal on the desk with a real gentle like. <laughs> well, at that point, Emissario would have agreed to anything. Fuck, well, he did agree to everything. And Sueño just picked up his knife, got up and left, not saying a single fucking word. Now, he ain't the friend you introduced to your parents, but you gotta admire the guy. I mean, he must have balls the size of coconuts. Okay, so far, that guy's kind of annoying. <laughs> okay, so... We are almost at the mission. So we've got turrets. I think what I'm gonna do is wait. I'm just gonna leave aside this because there's a. You need a chopper. in this place. Doesn't look much of a prison or just make sure because one guy kinda surprises only one dude down there. Um I don't really know it's reached a villa red tape base. Okay, so what we're gonna ask my teammate is to Roger. lock him and make sure he could get him. I've got the target. Because he play tactical. That guy had three turrets for himself, meaning he had a good 360 degree on where he could have been if he spotted you. Um. Other effects that are nice is sure the rain looks cool on the water, the, but the, there's places in the game the water effect it's 
really terrible and makes the game kind of look ouchy. Um, I think it's further up north. There's a there's one river you could take a boat and you know you could go upstream, and it makes it look really hard to understand what's going on because it's the water like it doesn't make sense. So since we're gonna play this tactical. What we're gonna do is we're gonna climb the tower and get a high end view of the base. If they call it a base. Just make sure we're not spotted by anybody. See, he had a good 360-ish. So, I'm just gonna pop our little baby out here. There too, there seems like to be a target. I got a target carrying submachine guns. I got another, that's five. It seems like there's quite some enemies here. Close to the container. So you just wanna enemy spotted. get the the enemy spotting. Nobody there. Narco with submachine guns. See, that guy's all by himself, so obviously you could spot Target. him to get rid of him. Target marked. Like that, Target. he's out. Scan the area, sometimes it's useful. Okay, so we're gonna continue spotting them out. Obviously, I think there's an enemy down here. Probably in there. If they have a door, that means they Careful, have a generator. A submachine gun by the stack of tires. So, we're just gonna have to find where that generator is. Okay, so. That's ten targets. If you'd find the generator, usually it's beside maybe a uh, spotted one with submachine guns. Type of crate, a fence. Hey, we got a narco. Where you got him? Next to the container. I got See? eyes on a mounted weapon. Okay. Seems like quite some targets out here. So I guess we'll start with what we have and we'll move up. So I'm gonna take out my primary. So you should play with this, this type of gun. We're just gonna rush into it. Tear it, see? That's a kill. Get a load of this. It has to be the cartel's operations center for Via Verde. The local Buchan should have quarters there. Let's take a gander. Uh, okay. Yo, I don't know where I could start here. Dart this. Uh, there's a the dragon off, so. Hmm, I think I'm gonna move up this side. Could have been interesting, you could have climbed in the w window. Yo, cartel heavy machine gun. Find the building. Me. 
target down. As much as there is to you. Down, you're giving yourself I away. I have my entire life. I have taught this respect for my your mama to my children. And I will teach it to their children. We got a Sakaria. Point him out. There, and start firing close. And that is why I am happy that our country is working with Santa Blanca. This is not the same. It's a organization. These vehicles and their CIA have tried to force upon us. This Mexican organization, this Latin organization, believes that as I do, that human beings are caretakers of our Earth, guardians of the land. And they believe that with proper management, we can find a way to benefit man and la madre tierra santa blanca is bolivia's partner in caring for our earth this is for the future of bolivia fucker knows somebody's gunning for him now the generations to come i've got a call to the rebels for some reinforcements you called for some help amigo Guys, ready? Fire. Oh. Think we're gonna go in hot. Oh god. Taking a shot. Fucking hell. Frag out. Wanna get Go in here? Take the equipment. Ah, I could use this. There's, uh, there's still some enemies over here. Okay, I just walked out of the base. Oh shit. That's him. Oh, okay. That took care of him. Gonna go around the base, make sure everything's cleared. Looks like there's still one guy down here. Let's go get this the guy. The cartel HQ building. Let's get a closer look. That tank goes down. Okay, so obviously the mission is still on. see we're still doing the mission we're just gonna click on it nope. why is it still pointing we need to find a way to no drive a wedge between Tango El Rey down. and Unidad's lieutenant Bento see what you can dig up clear over here so we're just gonna take the skill Looks points like this with my class A uniform check the area I guess Look at this little arsenal. These are homemade shotgun shells. Mexican pesos and birdshot inside. That's a signature. 
When Elway shoots somebody, he wants everyone to know it was him. Let's grab these and give Bowman a call. Take them. Now we can. Hey so Bowman, I've got a plan to trap Elway. How about we kill the Uni? He's six captain, kilometers away. Elway's signature shells at the scene to pin it on him. Sound good? Uh, Make it happen. I think I'm only apparently I'm missing one sniper rifle. I'm not sure. So let's just go check sniper rifles. I think I'm missing Dragonov is what I got. So you see I've okay. I don't need, need those ones. Okay. Uh, I'm kind of curious for the Dragonov. Let's check it out. Uh, where is that's up here? Let's see what I could customize. Okay. Pretty interesting. Okay, so my only oh, we got the twenty round. Interesting. We don't got any of these, so that doesn't help. And we could have a short barrel, but we uh, we can have a the long barrel, and you could have the suppress. So it ends up looking kind of like this. Eh, nice gun. My. OSR is more. I like it better. Um, as well for skill points, uh, speed. Uh, weapons. What can I get for weapons? Fire. Item. Score. Vice speed. Okay. So. We need to go all the way over here. Kill Lieutenant Bento. We can uh -huh. Bento as lever. Okay. So that will be our mission. We'll just check around here. Obviously, there's a heli, so we're gonna pick that up first. Can climb the. No. I want to climb this. Climb. See, like, come on, you could climb that. The excellence game. I don't know what the. What's going on here? But okay. They should have better exits. I completely missed that staircase here. Let's go up. So, I'll pilot. I'll stop here and I'll see how it goes next time. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. I like the idea of this load of pesos.